Okay, the next thing we want to install on this box, this $40 MLogic box, is the TV head in server. So, first thing we need to do, we need to add the drivers for the uh, HD Home Run tuners that I have. Okay, so we need, we can't use a pseudo, so we're going to use this. Copy. I've only done this a couple of times, so bear with me on this one. Now what this one does is puts the GUI for the HD Home Run tuners onto my Linux box, the Ubuntu box. Again, I gathered this information by scouring the net and trying to interpret it because I'm not familiar with Linux. So even this old man can learn. So that's what I'm doing right now. But we have to have the, Linux, the driver, the Linux drivers for the Ubuntu uh, tuners installed so that the uh, TV head end can find it. Now TV head end server is a back end to a DVR. It uses the uh, tuners, HD home run tuners, which I have networked tuners, uh, to pick up the uh, channels plus all the TV guide, etc, etc. So that's what we're doing right now. It shouldn't be much longer. What I'll do, I'll go ahead and install these, and then when I come back, I'll show you how to set it up on the uh, computer. Okay, I finished adding all the updates for the TV, and I added the uh, HD Home Run drivers, and then I got done adding the uh, TV head itself. So here's a cheat sheet that I use. I will post that in the link. So. Anyway, this is what I come up with, so enter on that. Okay, right now it's installing TV head in, so as soon as this gets done, I will uh, pop over to the web browser and show you how to set it up. So, it's just going to be another minute or two, but I will go ahead and uh, pause it and let it finish up. Then I will go back to the web browser. Okay, now this is the TV head in running on one of my other boxes. So, but this one, we're going to change the IP address to 90, which is my new box. So, put 90, hit enter. Okay, there's my name and login. Okay, here's the setup uh, part of it. So we are running TV head end uh, back end on this box. So uh, I probably don't need to go through the setup because you probably already know how to do all this. But uh, this is a newer version. So maybe I will go through it just basically. Okay, we'll go ahead and put an admin and username. Anyway, I'll go ahead and set it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, if you noticed, it did pick up my tuners because I have two different tuners, an older one uh, and a newer one, Extend. So, if you notice, it picks it up right here. And it even uh, picked, selected what kind it was, which ATSC, which is North America, uh, uh, TV service over the year and the T stands for terrestrial which is over the air save and exit okay we're going to take the United States frequencies click next 
And if you notice, it's finding all the muses, and then we'll start doing the services. Okay, now there it's scanning my two different tuners. Each tuner hardware device has two separate tuners, so I have a total of four tuners in two devices. So what it's doing is going through and picking out the ones that actually has a strong signal, and it will put it under services. I should end up about 50-some channels total, I believe. Of course, it depends on the weather. Sometimes if it's uh, cloudy, I can get the bounce signal bounce from low-hanging clouds and get stations that's not in our area. But we really don't want to pick up those because they're only pop in and out. So, so we're going to let that finish. It really doesn't take too long. But what it's going to do, I don't. I'm not even adding any. Uh, TV guide service, it's using the guide that's included into the stream, the TV stream that's coming over the air. The guide service and data is included or embedded into that stream. So I will show you that in a few minutes. Okay, well that was still scanning and finishing up. I will show you, okay, the uh, Plex. Okay, Plex is running on that M-Logic S905X box, so Plex is running on that one. And if you remember this, we added our Blu-ray player, or Blu-ray rips, on there. Okay, so that's the TV head in, or that's the Plex server running on that box. I go over here to MB. Okay, we want to, let's see. Okay, I'm logic, okay. We are on the I'm logic box right now. So I have not finished setting that up, but uh, So that is the TV head server, or MB server, running on that box. Plex is running on that box. And now TV head end server is running on that box. So you have the Linux operating system you can use as Linux, plus it's a back end server for these other items. So looks like we're pretty well done. Save next. And finish. Okay, now in a few minutes it's going out to grab in the TV guide from that, those streams and it will populate. So right now if you look down here it's grabbing the EPG from the different streams. So in a few minutes this will, oh it's already started to populate. And there is the TV guides. If I want to uh, set up recordings, uh, PGA Golf, I could record the series, I could play the program, record the program, auto re uh, record, which will scan a series if I want to. So, anyway, this is the web based interface for the TV, uh, TV head end. Uh, um, TV head in server for the DVR. So anyway, that's and this ties into uh, in different programs. So you can be on different devices on different TVs, watch live TV or watch recordings or create recordings, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, that's what all that does. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, thank you. These boxes are very, very versatile. Thank you.